Let's do the update as the final, not the final one, I also have a find, but almost the final one. Now the update is a bit more complex. We are, we are sending in some conditions, but still it's the same idea, right? We're using the mongoose model here called user to actually call an update function on the schema. Now, all of these functions that I'm showing you here, they're all built by mongoose for you. So you do not have to worry about how they're actually working. They're black boxes. You just have to understand what you need to pass in. In this case, you need to pass in, how will I find the specific user I want to update? So the condition, and in this case, it's the, just the ID. That's what we're going to use to find the specific user. And then what are we going to update? And in this case, it's going to be the request body, which is just going to be a name right now. And then the same thing. If everything goes well, um, we will find a document, so we won't hit this one because this is only if the document is not found, then we'll return a 404, but if it is found, we'll return a 200, meaning that everything went okay, else we'll, we'll just catch an error and send that back. So let's see if this works. Again, notice that I added the ID here again to the put request. So we'll go back to Postman, we'll convert into a put request, we'll grab Lars here, and let's give him the full name instead of Lars Bilde. So I'll go into the body tag, and instead the name will be Lars Bilde, like this. I'll do a send, and let's see what we get back. We got an OK back, one item was modified, and let's just get all again to see if it actually did update our user as we expected. And there we go. Lars Bilde. So it actually updated the user, the others are still the same. Congratulations, now we also have the update. So check off the U of the CRUD setup. See you in the next lesson where we'll just do a read of a single user. Have fun.